Hi everyone, it's Mr Neil here and welcome to a summary of our recent S4 information evening which took place online last week. Uh, during this narration I'll give a summary of each slide and if there's any inf uh, pieces of information that comes up that you're unsure about or you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in contact with me. So the presentation of the night was called The Start of Your Senior Phase Journey. And there was various different areas that I took you through on the evening. And I was also joined by Mr Richardson, who gave a lot of detail in regards to coaching and support. And at the end, we took a number of questions from the pupils and their families. So the first area we were looking at is just a summary of our curriculum structure. I then gave some reasons why we opted for such a curriculum structure, some information on what S4 looks like, Quite a bit of time spent on Hillhead habits and expectations. We then went and shared some information from Mr McFarlane in regards to wider achievement. And then Mr Richardson came in to present about communication, support and also information about coaching and support. So the first part of the evening was centred around our Hillhead High School curriculum. So at Hillhead High School, uh, obviously the, the school is split into two parts. We've got our broad general education, which is first year to third year, and our senior phase is S4 to S6. So when there was changes within the curriculum, uh, a number of years ago across Scotland, the, the system allows for flexibility and provides autonomy. So our senior phase, which uh, is S4 to S6, has been designed to maximise attainment and achievement for all pupils. So our young people have the opportunity to work towards national qualifications at an appropriate level and also engage in a range of personal development and wider achievement opportunities. So all of your sons and daughters and young people in S4 have now started two-year courses in six subjects. So English, maths, plus another four. There's also a wider achievement attached to their timetable. What we do at Hillhead is we bypass formal exams at the end of S4 in order to allow for more time for learning and teaching and a greater depth to learning. I then took everyone through some facts related to this uh, two-year structure. It's about the focus on learning and teaching. It's about being ambitious for all our pupils. So there's more opportunities to succeed at higher level. <clears throat> it's about creating the environment to succeed and allowing all our pupils a bit more time. So it allows our teachers to focus on the depth of learning to embed knowledge, skills and understanding. And there's also a strong uh, focus, not just through our uh, subjects, but also through our wider achievement on skills for life, learning and work. <clears throat> I also took uh, the parents and families through what our S4 looks like. So we talked about the senior phase, S4 to S6, and at Hillhead High School, it's about you developing and growing as a person. We talked about the start to this journey in S4 being very, very important. So a bit of time was taken to talk through what an S4 timetable looks like with registration at the start of each day. As I mentioned, we've got our subjects and wider achievement. We've also got our wellbeing award in core PE, also a qualification in RMPS. And the PSE program is very much focused and appropriate for age and stage. So there's various different uh, areas that are vital to S4 as a year group. And an example of that was the SQA Personal Finance Award, which pupils will be undertaking. There's also opportunities and experiences during Friday Five. And also I mentioned the fact that we have an S4 year group assembly every Thursday in the hall during registration. And the key thing to remember here is the expectation is that we're looking for all pupils to work hard, to attend and to be focused all the way from Monday registration through to Friday five. 
I then went on to talk about a uh, evidence gathering and evidence gathering window and, and why we use the term evidence gathering. As we all know, we bypass SQ exams in S4, but it's important that all our pupils still experience formal assessment uh, within the hall with, with, with invigilators to give them uh, an opportunity to experience the exam environment. We have, over the last few years, really moved away from the term prelim, which is an outdated term, and we make the point that your child is more than just one performance and assessment. We have an evidence gathering window, which takes place across all subjects from the 20th of May to the 10th of June. That will take place in 2024, and that will allow uh, all our young people to experience the exam environment with English and maths taking place in the hall, but the other evidence gathering assessment papers taking place in a classroom. The point was made that we, although we have the evidence gathering window, which is about your, your child experiencing exam conditions, your child, as I say, is more than one assessment. And when a teacher looks at levels, they are not just focusing on that one assessment, they're looking at everything that your child has achieved throughout the year. So it's about making sure that your children have a positive experience of an exam environment, and we call it evidence gathering, because in order to look at the progress of any individual child, you should look at more than just one piece of evidence or one assessment. I then went on to, to, to look at wider achievements, uh, and this was a, a slide that Mr McFarlane shared with us. So through the, the, the structure of the timetable, we have the six subjects, English, maths, plus four others, and then we have the wider achievement, which takes place on the last two periods on a Monday. And here are some examples of the wider achievements that, that your children had the choice of and that they're undertaking as part of their, their timetable here at Hillhead. And there's a big emphasis on developing skills for life, learning and work, those transferable skills, which will help in any job, college or university. It will also provide accreditation and pupils will be able to achieve additional qualifications through these areas. I then went on to talk about expectations, again using that phrase from Monday registration through to Friday 5. All fourth year pupils are ambassadors for our school. We've got our uh, values that are at the bottom of every slide within this presentation and it's important that all our S4 pupils display and model these values of kindness, ambition, integrity, respect and resilience. It's vital that timekeeping classwork homework and uniform are priorities for all our pupils, including S4 pupils. Hard work, effort, positive mindset is something that I will talk about regularly through Tannoy messages and a uh, weekly assemblies. And then introduce this phrase of every piece of work has value. So I mentioned earlier about our evidence gathering period, but also touched upon the fact that we are looking for pupils to perform well at all points, and there are more than just one assessment. So it's about this mindset and getting into this thinking that every piece of work that a young person does on a daily basis, from answering questions in class, to producing quality homework, classwork, eh, and assessments, see it that every piece of work, that mindset that every piece of work has value. It's providing a piece of evidence, which is showing individual classroom teachers how the young person is progressing. And my job as head of year is to support and it's to challenge. And we've got to try and get that balance in order to try and build a bit of resilience, but also be there for our young people if they need advice on future pathways or things aren't going well. We then moved on to the idea of hillhead habits, and this is something we've pushed uh, prior to the summer holidays. So we talked about good habits being important and how the small things can make a huge difference and talked about uh, the young people being in control of their actions. So this was actually a slide that I shared with pupils in a year group presentation back in June. So it's about pupils being the best version of themselves. Again, timekeeping attendance, uniform, being fully prepared, not being controlled by the, the phones, 
not wandering the corridors or hanging about toilets, about making sure that the pupils are in Hillhead High School as a place of work, ready to learn and ready to do their best. I then took families through the idea of Hillhead Habits of Learning and Belonging. And this is a piece of work that was uh, carried out by my colleague, Mr. Carson, one of my fellow deputies prior to the summer holidays, where we were looking at what we consistently want for our pupils. So we honed that down into three key areas. We're looking for learning time, learning quality, and being part of the team. So maximizing learning, making sure there's no distractions within the class, which can maintain the quality of learning, and also making sure there's a sense of belonging and feeling, and that pupils feel that they're part of a team here at Hillhead High School. So I then took the, the slides which looked at each of those individually, talking about what learning time looks like and feels like for our pupils. So it's about being in class for the full lesson. And in green, these are the areas that we're looking for. And again, that last sentence there, it's about being immersed in the lesson with no distractions. Similar in terms of learning quality, attending fully to the learning, doing your best work. And then in green, highlighting all the areas that we are looking for from our S4 pupils. Finally, being immersed in the lesson again with no distraction.